Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitec Engineering. We are doing an exercise on hydrostatic forces on uh, curved surfaces. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise that I've taken from my test book and it reads as follow. A dam has its face in a circular arc as shown in figure 4.14. Calculate the resultant force on the arc per meter run and its inclination to the horizontal force. So this is the information that we are given. This is the diagram that they gave us. We are given this from here to here it's 12 and we are given yeah this diagram we are given you will see the radius from this point to this point is 15 that's the radius so we are asked to calculate for the resultant force which we know it's the force of the water that is within this this section d b c and it will be acting at a right angle so we know r it's given by h squared plus v squared. The value of h is equals to rho h hour. It's rho g a times y bar, which will be 1000 times. Let me just write it here because I don't think I will have enough space there. h is rho g a y bar. So 1,000, 9.81, the area, remember, it's one, uh, sorry, one meter, it will be, we're, we're taking out this portion, that portion, it will be something like this, where this is our one meter, uh, and then this will be 12, so our area will be one times 12. Our y bar will be 12 divided by 2, which will give us 6. And then we are going to have our value of h as being 706.32 kilonewtons. And then now we go to our value of v, which is given by rho g. A, I don't know why I did that. Why I did that is V here. Let me write it here. It's a row G V. Something like this. Simplify things. So this this we have. We are looking for this. We know this is given by area times length. Our length is one. That one we know. The area that we are looking for is the area D B C. We are having the radius of area a d c so in this case what we are going to do is if we can figure out how to get the area since we, we do not have a way to get this value of x since we know that the this area which is let's say area d b c area d b c d b c is given by Two third of x and y. We are not having the value of x. If we can figure out how to calculate the value of this whole uh, this whole area, which is a b c, and minus the value of a d c, we will be left with this area. So we can be able to continue. So that is exactly what we are going to do. The the area of ABC it's given by 1.2 theta r squared where this it's in radians is not in degrees Celsius so we come to our structure do we have the value of theta we do not have the value of theta but we know that this radius this leg from here to here will also be equal to this leg from here to here and we have the distance from this this leg will come to this 15 will also be equal to this one because it's the radius of the circle and then 
we also are given the value of this from D to C. So we can take this out, something like this. This is our 15, which is the radius, and this is our 12. From this, we can use trig ratios to get the value of this angle. We are going to use sine theta. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Our opposite is 12 and our hypotenuse is 15. Therefore, our theta is equal to this inverse of sine 12 divided by 15, which will give us the value of theta as being equal to 53.13 degrees. Remember, I said this is in radians, not in degrees. Therefore, we are going to say pi times 53.13 divided by 180 to convert it into radians where I got that it is equal to 0.927 rad. You can even uh, multiply by, I think it's 53.7 or 57.3, I don't remember very well. But you can convert it to radians using this uh, method or you can divide, let me check. Yes, you can divide here by 57.3 and then this is the answer that you are going to get. This is what you are going to put here. You do not put this value because this is not in degrees. So we continue. Half 0 0.827 once the radius is 15 squared. And then here I got that our area is equals to 104.288 q meter squared this is the area of a b c which is a b c remember we are trying to get the area of d b c now since we have the large area we want to get the area of this portion so that we can minus from the area of a B, C, and then we are we will be left by then with the area of D, B, C. This one, it's a triangle. So its area, we know it is given by, say, the area of A, D, C is given by half height and breadth, which will be half. The height is equals to fifteen. The breadth we do not have, but we can still come to this um, equation and calculate for this breadth using what the Pythagoras theorem, where we are going to say our breadth is equals to 15 squared minus 12 squared, which will give us 9 meters. And then that is exactly what we are going to put here. This will be 9. We have it now. And then this area will be equals to 54 meter squared. And then now we come and say the area of DBC, which is the area that we are looking for, it's equals to the area of a b c minus the area of a d c which will be equals to 104.288 minus 54 and that will give us the area that we are looking for as 50 Point two eight eight meter squared. And then from here, we can be able to go and calculate for the value of V, which is given by rho G V. 
our um, Royce 1000 G 9.81 and then we are having our area is 50.288 times 1 and then our value for V I got that it is equals to 493.325 kilo newtons and then we come to calculate the value of r which is given by what v squared plus h squared so h we got that it is equal to 70632 70.32 squared and then i got that our resultant it's equals to 861.544 kilo newtons and then we calculate the angle of inclination we're using tan we already know that by now tan theta it's equals to V divided by H, where our tan theta is equals to the inverse of tan. Our V, it's equals to uh, 493.325 divided by our H, which is equals to 706.322. And this will give us our angle of inclination as 34.9 degrees and that is all that they have asked from us so what to take from this exercise it's that even if you are given a structure like this it doesn't mean that you are going to use this whole area the area that we are focusing in always is this area so means must be done to get the area of this portion this formula for this big area like i have gave you is half theta r squared you must this is a hell it's a useful formula to know and know that this is not in degrees but it's in rats and that is how i'm going to conclude the lesson i will see you on the next lesson